Thanks, Steve. And new at 10, the downtown revitalization debate continues. Yeah, tonight a meeting held in front of the city council, hearing from an expert on urban development. Now, this was a follow-up from a meeting last night, and ABC 7 Stephen Graves has been covering this for years. Stephen? Yeah, well, Lisa Larry, this expert, he didn't say exactly what some city council members wanted to hear. His research showing that downtown convention center hotels don't work to boost economies, but some council members say his research isn't adequate for Amarillo. Happening Tuesday, and I also understand spirited debate about downtown development. The topic of discussion, the convention center hotel and bringing business to it, ultimately boosting Amarillo's economy. Haywood Sanders, an urban development expert presenting facts last night to the public, stating the hotel and convention center mix isn't as successful as some may think. And on Tuesday, a day later, his conclusion being reiterated directly to city leaders. The assumption that if you build this hotel, you're going to see a big boost in convention business is a remarkably rocky, uncertain assumption, as we've seen in the past. But leaders for the hotel say right now it's much more than bringing big groups for conventions. They say it's important to keep on track with the three-prong catalyst project to revitalize downtown altogether. We are in a position where we plan for eight to ten years to get this ready and I just don't want to have to start over and plan for another eight to ten to move forward when we believe, believe, sincerely believe and have evidence that this will work. Harpole also claiming Sanders' research is much more adequate for bigger cities, but some council members taking away a much different message. Well, I'm concerned that every town, including towns our size like Midland, Odessa, uh, even Laredo are building convention hotels. So there's a lot of people thinking there's a lot of business out there, and I just hope we don't get disappointed. Sanders also addressed the multi-purpose event venue, saying he didn't see the correlation between bringing business with that to the hotel. But advocates say extensive research and studies prove otherwise. Citizens still want to see a, a vote on that. Reporting from the Candy Broadcast Center, Stephen Graves, ABC7 News.